Okay, on these lessons, we're going to start looking at how to write equations for these. Uh, this first section, though, is just wanting the slope, which is the first step you would need in getting an equation. So you need to solve this for y by subtracting 2x from both sides. So that gives you a negative y equals negative 2x plus 7. And then you basically, you cannot, you did have to bring that negative down for your y, but you can't leave it there. So I'm going to just switch all the signs. If you want to think of it as dividing by negative 1, that's fine. And then your slope is your number in front of your x. So in this case, your slope is a 2. So anything that is parallel to that line will have a slope of 2 because parallel lines have the same slope. That's how you do that. If I would have wanted perp uh, on this one, it's asking for perpendicular. So once again, I need to start by solving for y. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. That's going to give me a 3y equals negative 3x plus 63. And then I will end up uh, dividing everything by 3 because y has to be completely by itself. So y equals negative 1 over 1, uh, x plus 21. The slope is that negative 1 over 1 or just negative 1. Perpendicular means I change the sign and flip it. So flipping 1 over 1 really doesn't make a difference, but changing the sign does because it goes from being a negative 1 to a positive 1. And when I reduce it, 1 over 1 does equal 1, so that would be your answer. We'll go ahead and try a few on the next section. Honestly, this, this is what we've been working for uh, toward through this whole unit. So on this, you still need to start by finding the slope. So I still need to get y by itself. So subtract x from both sides. Gives me a minus y equals minus x plus 6. Once again, you cannot leave your y negative. So we've got to switch all the signs. y equals positive x minus 6. So if it is uh, the slope of this line is a 1 because that's the understood number in front of the x. And um, it is parallel, so the parallel slope is also equal to 1. So the slope I'm needing is a 1, and my point is the point negative 1, 5. Now I'm going to plug into y equals mx plus b. So y equals mx plus b uh, to find my y-intercept. My slope is 1. My x value is negative 1. My y value is 5. So we did several of these problems a few weeks ago. This will be a good review. And that's going to give you 5 equals negative 1 plus b. And then to get rid of the negative 1, add 1 to both sides. So I end up finding out that 6 is b, or my y-intercept. So when I go to write my final equation, I'm going to just leave it in y equals mx plus b form. So y equals, my slope is the number that goes in front of my x, 1x, and then the y-intercept goes on m plus 6. That should be your answer. And we did get this one right, and we'll see if we have time for one more. Okay, this one, we're looking for a perpendicular line. We still need to get the slope by solving for y. So subtract 5x from both sides. This will help you get better at solving for y, all this practice. 6y equals negative 5x plus 36. And then to solve for y, divide everything by 6. So my equation is y equals negative 5,6x plus 6. Now once you have made it this far with negative 5,6x plus 6, there's my negative 5 6, which is my slope. Uh, I'm looking for perpendicular, so the perpendicular slope means I have to flip it, so that's a 6 over 5, and switch the sign, so that's negative 6 over 5. And my point, of course, is this, so I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. A pin's being a little special. And then plug in the negative 4 where the y is. My m is my negative 6 fifths and my x-coordinate is negative 5 plus b. Uh, multiply here, the 5's cancel, that was nice. A negative times a negative is a positive, so negative 4 equals 6 plus b. And then subtract 6 from both sides, so negative 10 is equal to b. So your equation should be y equals negative 6 over 5x, minus 10.